So now we're going to talk about how you take a logic circuit and figure out what the truth table for that circuit is. So here's the logic circuit we have. It has two inputs, A and B, and two outputs, X and Y, and we want to figure out how it works. So we've got an AND gate and an OR gate on our logic circuit. Here's what our truth table is going to look like. We have our two inputs and all possible combinations of our two inputs, and for each combination, we're going to specify our outputs Y and X. So let's go ahead and take a look here at our first row. We've got Y and X. And so we've got inputs A and B are both 0. So if A is 0, it's going to put 0 going into the AND gate and 0 going into the OR gate. If B is 0, it's also going to send 0 over here to the OR gate and the AND gate. We can now figure out what each of the gates are doing. So here this gate has 0 and 0, which is going to be 0, so the output's 0. And here we have 0 or 0, so the output is also going to be 0. So we can go and fill ahead and fill in the truth table here with if the inputs are 0 and 0, the outputs are also 0 and 0. So what we did is we walked through the circuit. So we started the inputs and we traced the values through to compute the outputs. So let's take a look at the next row here. So what happens when the inputs are A0 and B1? So we've got A0 and B1. Go ahead and follow this through and figure out what the answer is going to be. So let's take a look here. If we have 0 and 1 as our inputs, the outputs, the y here, the or, is going to be 1 and the x is going to be 0. So we can take a look at this. A goes through and we end up with a 0 at the and and a 0 at the or. And B is 1 and we end up with a 1 at the and and a 1 at the or. So up here we have 0 and 1, which is still 0. That's why our x is going to be 0 down here. But over here we have 0 or 1, and 0 or 1 is going to be 1. So our y is going to be 1. So we get a 1 for y and a 0 for x. Now, let's go ahead and try this out in Logisim. So here's Logisim. We already have our, our AND gate put together. Let's go ahead and add an OR gate to it. So we'll put in an OR gate here. Again, we've got too many inputs for our OR gate here. So I'll go ahead and change that to be just two inputs. And now I need to hook it up. So the first input to the OR gate is going to be A. And the second input to the OR gate is going to be B. And then we need an output from the OR gate here. Go ahead and grab an output. And the output for the OR gate here is going to be Y. Okay, so let's make sure that we're simulating and go ahead and reset our simulation. And now we can try the different combinations. So as you can see over here, we had 0 and 1 as our inputs and got 0 and 1 as our outputs. We can go ahead and set 0 and 1 as our inputs here, and you see we get 0 and 1 as our output here. We can set 1 and 1 as our input, and you can see that now the AND gate has two 1s coming in, and we get a 1 going out, and the OR gate has a 1 as well. And we can finally try the last combination here and see all the different combinations in Logisim. So, now that we've gone through all the possible combinations, we can fill in the full truth table. And this is what you'd expect. Y is an OR gate, so it's true whenever either one of these is true, that's OR. And X is an AND gate, so it's true only when both of the inputs, A and B, are true. So we got the tra truth table by trying all the combinations of the inputs and generating all the combinations of the outputs.